guys. So, like I had told you guys earlier, I ordered some new suspension for the Street Glide, so 09 Street Glide. We're gonna put some new rear shocks on it. We're gonna take off the uh, lowered air suspension shocks that are on it. Got the bike on my little lift here, so just getting it up to get some pressure off of the rear. Gonna show you guys these shocks. So I ended up going with some ride height adjustable premiums from Drag. These things are pretty quality. I'm impressed with them when I got my hands on them. A lot nicer than I thought they were gonna be. The quality of them is pretty amazing. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. We're gonna take these bags off. These are fully adjustable from 12 and a half inches to 13 and a half inches. I got them right now at 12.75. They're 12 and three quarters exactly. Uh, made sure that the spacing is exactly similar on both of these shocks. So I'm gonna see how that performs. If I don't like it, I may adjust up or down, uh, half inch, quarter inch. So I'll let you guys know as it goes forward, but I'm gonna get into this. I'll let you know what you guys need here going forward, but pretty much all you're doing is taking your bags off. Once you get your bags off, you're gonna be loosening the factory hardware. You wanna save the factory hardware because that's the hardware that you're going to use to remount these on here. So it just uses your same old factory hardware. These take a little more time to get out because they do have the speakers and the lids. Since they do have the speakers in the lids, they are also a little bit heavier. So you want to make sure they're pretty well closed when you take them off so that they stay upright. But there you guys go. You can see the bolts here. I'm going to see what size they are. I'm not sure offhand. They look like they're three quarter inch. but I'm not 100% sure. Three quarter inch. So while the bike is still resting on the ground, you just wanna break these free. So I was always told when you do this, break free one side, change them side by side so that way you don't have your uh, swing arm going up and down, but we'll see. I may have to loosen both of these and lift this up a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and take the seat off as well. Make sure if you guys are going to be working on your own bikes and stuff, I don't know how many of you keep the factory seat screw on there, but I always use the quick release thumb screws. Super easy, gives you a ton of access to this bike, so. Just want to see where these air lines are going. All right, I'm actually going to take this bag off of this side right now as well. I want to remove any air that might be inside of the shock. I don't know if you really need to do it that way, 
but I would like to go ahead and remove any air that's inside of that that air canister just to be safe you guys might make my job easier might make it harder I don't know we'll, we'll figure that out side now there's nothing wrong with these air shocks uh, if you like them you like them these are holding air quite well but I just just don't really want to run them I want to run regular coil suspension on this bike so I released all the air that was in there. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to take both of these off. I'm going to get them loose while they're on the ground. Uh, the only thing I was just thinking was these are considerably longer, as you guys can see. They are considerably longer than the ones that are on there. So once they get on there, I'm going to have to lift this bike up a little bit. So. get these loose here for you. I would consider this a two beer job. Should be able to get this done in about as much time as it takes me to drink two beers and I'm not a fast drinker. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to check these back brake pads. See, they're looking pretty decent. Just always try to save myself a little bit of time. So if I'm doing something like this, all right, so we got the pressure, I've got the pressure removed. Just want to relieve that pressure from the back so you can get these out. There you go. There's one out. I'm going to set that up there. These are also super heavy. And these air shocks are super heavy. These are probably about half the weight. So if we can save the weight and we can increase the performance of the bike as well as the looks. I don't know, you might be into the canister look, I'm not. Yeah, so I'm going to leave this whole air ride set up still attached. All I'm doing is pressing in. I'll show you guys here in a second. There's these little red... buttons that you just press on you press them in and you can slide that hose out you could slide that you can slide the airline right out all right so we know that the air suspension was holding pressure I released the last of the pressure I filled this up about four months ago so I just released the pressure out of it and it seems to be doing fairly well holding air. I didn't check the PSI, but you only put about 10 to 12 pounds in your air shocks. Uh, if not, you could blow them out. So I released the air. It seemed about right. Everything else looks good on the bike so far. So we're going to check it out. All right. So I'm going to get a little bit of Loctite. I got to get my torque wrench out here. Loctite everything, torque everything. Uh, I believe Harley Manual recommends between 40 and 50 foot pounds. I'm going to go, I'm probably going to go with like 45. I like to split it. Make sure you get yourself a good torque wrench. Uh, Snap-on's pretty good. Alright, 
right? So I don't want the warnings on these facing out. I'm just weird. But again, these drag shocks, they are nitrogen purged. They are really high quality. I would recommend them to anybody just looking for a good upgrade over stock. And they don't break the bank. I was able to get these for a relatively decent price. But I also got them through one of my good buddies, Aaron. He, he tends to be the parts plug. Um, he's, he's building a couple more bikes. He's the one who built that gold FXR that I had on my one video. Did pretty good up here. You guys seem to have liked that. Some people still hating on it, but haven't seen anybody else post or send in any FXR pictures that are better than that. So he's building a couple more bikes. Anytime I need parts, he is the plug. Uh, hopefully when he's done building another one of these bikes here, I'll get an interview up with him. I really like to sit down, talk to him, find out what drives him, what makes his mind move. Because he's always hustling, he's always on to another bike, he's always building stuff. Everything he touches comes out super gold. So, actually sold him the purple bike too. So the purple Dyna's gone, it's gonna go to him. He wanted a bike for the lots. So, gotta keep him happy. So now, I'm just using my back foot here to kind of slowly lift this up. And I'm just paying attention till they line up just so I can get these threads started here. You don't want to go too high. We still got to do the other side. And we don't want to make this too hard on ourselves. Decent amount of blue Loctite on everything. Well, I say decent amount, I mean, <laughs> enough that you know it's on there, especially for something like this. All right, <clears throat> so we got one side on, and we're going to get this side on. Thank God I already went through and leveled these up. <clears throat> Made sure everything was sitting the way that I wanted it on these shocks. Made sure they were lined up, everything was spaced properly. So that makes this step a hell of a lot easier. A lot of people wouldn't do that, they would just wait till they had the bike up and then they would start messing with their adjustments. I don't like to do that. I had some time off today because my son had a surgery earlier today. He's resting right now on the couch eating some ice cream. My wife was asking me what I was gonna do. I said, I'm going out in the garage and it's gonna take me about eh, 20, 30 minutes. I'm gonna put shocks on this bike. She said, oh, 30 minutes, so you're going to be gone the whole rest of the night. And I said, no. Try to be a man of your word, so that way when you're not, or something does happen, they know that any other time you are a man of your word, and something happens like that, they know it's, it's a serious issue or that something unexpected did just happen, so. All right, these look great on here. Like I said, I'm, I'm just snugging these up a little bit. I'm going to get you guys a picture. I want to get you a picture of this air connection so you can see what I was talking about over here. We just snug those down for now. Now we're gonna pull out the big boy. This is that snap on that big boy. All right. So they're not super tight, as you guys can see. They're not super tight on here. But 
it's tight enough. That's also why I lock tight these babies. And then also what I'm going to do because I'm just I'm super weird about it. So when you're done using your torque wrench, you guys always zero them out. It's just a good practice to get into you. You don't want any uh, tension just how it's going this thing. All right, so those are on. They're torqued down. They look good. Double checked them. I did not have the right uh, adapter. I don't have a three quarter in the half inch. So I trust the snap on better than the other wrench that I have. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'll bring you guys over here. I'll show you what I was talking about. All right, you guys. So I'm trying to focus in. There we go. So that right there is where your air lines plug in. Uh, the air lines from the air suspension go right in here. You just press these in, push these down. And while you're pushing those down, you slide your line in. When you're removing them, you press them in. You can slide your air line out for the suspension. And that goes up. This is where you fill it in. It'll tell you how much PSI. Very, very simple system. So there's the shocks on there. They look absolutely gorgeous on this bike. So, so like always, the next step of this process is to get everything buttoned up dialed in make it look good you gotta clean up some of the chrome wipe this down I'm gonna lower it i'm gonna test the way that the suspension feels uh also gonna polish this rear rim probably not in this video i'm gonna put that in another one or maybe might not even put it in so let me get these bags back on let me get everything tucked away everything back to where it should be but yeah it's that fast it's that simple make sure you use blue loctite Make sure you torque these down. Make sure you test your ride height. Sit on them. Make sure the sag is good. Make sure all that stuff's good. But it's just that simple. You guys save yourself a couple hundred bucks. These boys will get packed away. These these are not that old. The guy who the guy who I got the bike off of. He wanted to lower it down, so he threw these on. These are probably only about two or three years old. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save these because they're good. We already tested them. We know they're good, but man, that difference, even that, that half an inch of difference, the fact that it's a coil spring, put those over there in the to be sold on eBay pile, but actually, Whenever I sell this bike, I'll probably put the air suspension back on it to whoever I sell this bike to and They'll be able to run air suspension. So that'll be good for them. I think they will enjoy it so All right, you guys we're gonna get this button back up. I hope you guys liked it very quick video I'm not a mechanic, but I like to save money. So just that easy So like I said, I told my wife I'd only be 20 minutes. She's calling me right now to come in for dinner. So I'm gonna get this buttoned up real quick for you guys.
I can already tell it's sitting about an inch higher, which is what I was going for here. I didn't want anything crazy. I didn't want this thing 12 inches up in the air. Um, I'm not going to be racing this bike. This bike is just for cruising. But I do want to lean it into some corners. I do want to lean it around some bends without scraping. I can actually get to the rim now. Uh, this was one of the big reasons why I wanted to do this. I could get to the rim. I could give that attention. I can clean it. Uh, I can also easily feel the air in my tire. Before to fill the air in the tire, I had to take the saddlebag off because it was that low. So that got really annoying, uh, especially the beginning of the year or the end of the year to have to do that. So there you go. Save yourself about two, three hundred dollars. Uh, if you have the skills, get it done. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Catch me on the next one here. We're going to have another one coming out. I uh, don't know what it's going to be or what we're going to be doing, but I will have another video out here before the end of the week. Also, I will slide in some pictures uh, of the new Harley Davidsons that I've seen arrive at my local dealership here. Uh, Youngstown Harley Davidson got about 12 2023s in. They are absolutely gorgeous. Get yourself in the store, check them out. You will not be disappointed.